Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Center for Protected Area Management's online seminar for women's leadership in conservation. My name is Audrey Ramsey. I am working with the Center on this seminar. And today I'm going to give you a little tour of our online platform, which is called Think of It. We are very excited to have you joining us on this seminar. So let's dive right in and get you all set up on our platform. I'm going to start by sharing my screen um, to show you an email that you should have gotten at this point. Um, be sure to check your spam folders as they do tend to end up there since it is coming from our Thinkific platform. But it should say something like this, welcome to Center for Protected Area Management online seminars. So once you find that, give it a click and it should look a little something like this. So it's going to tell you a little bit about the seminar, how to sign up, and a little bit about our first online live session. So your account is already created. All you need to do is uh, create a new password, which you can do by clicking on this link. So it will take you to a page that looks like this. All you need to do is create a password and then you can sign in to Thinkific platform. So once you do that, it will bring you to a page that looks like this, uh, which will show you your courses, which you are enrolled in, which is the Women's Leadership in Conservation. So once you see that, give that a click and it will take you to the course content. All right, so once that loads, you will be able to access all of the course content here on this page. You will be able to navigate here on the left side of the page. This scroll down list is where you will find all of the modules, the lessons, as well as the learning segments within those lessons. It's important to note that at this moment, you will only be able to see module one as module two has not been released yet. However, you can find out exactly when that is going to be released by going to seminar overview and going to seminar calendar. That will have all of the start dates of each module in that document. So starting from the beginning, um, each of these learning segments is going to have an action associated with it, which will be written here in capital letters at the beginning of each learning segment. So watch, review, we have read, activity, so it will be telling you exactly what sort of thing you will be encountering in the next learning segment. So once you complete a learning segment, you click this button here at the bottom that says complete and continue. This will keep track of your progress throughout the seminar and will be able to tell you how far you've gone here at the top of this page. So make sure you click those buttons. Um, as to navigate through this section. Um, and also please make sure you do the content in order as everything does build off of each other. So it's really important that everything's done uh, in the order that it's laid out. So with these various activities that we will be doing, each one will have a set of instructions on it, there are a few things that we will be doing where it will pop out into another um, website. Um, and there, everything will have instructions on what to do with those when you encounter them. Um, one thing that we will be using quite a bit is the discussion board function, which will it will say so in the instructions of learning segment that it ha that it's in. Um, however, you'll also be able to see that you will be using discussion boards because this little button will appear up in the right hand corner that says discussions. Um, and this is where you will make your posts about these reflection questions or what have you. Um, and you just do so by 
clicking create new post. You can create a title for that and then write your reflections, um, share a photo if need be, uh, however you'd like. So then you click create and that will add it to this discussion board over here. You will be able to see your colleagues discussion board posts as well. They will be able to see yours um, and you can also comment on each other's posts as well, which should create some really great discussion between all of you. So, um, another important feature that we're going to be using throughout this seminar is our community board. You can find that here under the seminar overview in number six, seminar objectives and expected outcomes. This is where one of the links is to get to the community board. Um, once you access the community board, you should be able to see it in your dashboard, um, which it will, you will be taken to when you log in each time. You can also get to it up here in the left-hand corner, go to dashboard. Um, but this is a quick way to access it. Um, and this will take you to our question space, space, which is going to be really important throughout this seminar. Um, this is where you can ask any question about uh, course content, uh, assignment questions, things like that. You can ask right here in this space. So to do that, you just write a post here, click on that, make a title, um, write your question here and create post. We will be monitoring this throughout the entire seminar, so we will get to your questions as soon as we possibly can. If you do have a technical problem and you cannot get to this um, community board or you cannot access Thinkific, um, please feel free to email us at protectedareas.colostate.edu. We've been using this to communicate with you guys so far, um, but it is also listed here. Um, just in case if you need it. Um, another part in this community board, which will be um, important to get to know everyone, is student introductions. There are instructions on what to do here in this post. Just click on it and it will expand and tell you a little bit more about what to do. Um, I also did a little example I'm telling you a little bit about me. And I added a photo as well, which all of you are welcome to do. Um, me with my favorite birds. <laughs> so that is that. Um, and there might be some more spaces coming up as we go through the course, but these are the main ones that are going to be really important, especially that questions board. So please use that as much as you'd like. And that is about it for navigating the Thinkific platform. If you have any questions or troubles connecting uh, and creating your profiles, just send us an email and we will help you get logged in as soon as we can. And we look forward to seeing you all soon as the course starts here very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you all shortly. Ciao.